Hey guys, welcome to whatever episode of Mass Recall this is. Uh, I've had a little bit of an adventure. So after the last episode, I put it away. You know, I like to read the comments and stuff before I do every one, so I'm doing every one of these one day at a time. And there are a couple missions that were removed from the original StarCraft. They didn't make it into the final cut of the game, but they had code in there. Like, the missions were mostly complete, and they were put into Mass Recall as bonus material. So I had that selected because I was like, that'd be a little cool. Get some extra stuff going. Yeah, it crashes my game every time. So then I didn't have this mission unlocked, which means that I had to go back and reset my progress and cheat my way through the entire campaign again because I disabled the mission that unlocked the thing. And it was just a mess. But I'm here. <laughs> it's, it's an adventure that you'll never get to see. And you should be glad that you never get to see because it wasn't very fun. Nor was it very exciting, but we are looking at the big push. Okay, let's do this. That's Tarsonus. Tarsonus looks very nice. I thought Tarsonus kind of sucked. I thought this was more like Tarsonus. What happened last time? We destroyed the Confederates with a Psy emitter. Oh, they're going to tell us. The Zerg, lured in by the Psy emitter signal, descended upon the unsuspecting Confederate forces and annihilated them. Once again, the Protoss fleet under the command of High Templar Tassadar, arrived and incinerated the planet. Do I have to click? I do. Greetings, Commander. Receiving incoming transmission. The time of our final strike against the Confederacy is close at hand. Before we can strike at Tarsonus itself, however, we must break through the Confederacy's most potent defenses. General Duke will brief you. I've defended Tarsonus in over 30 major battles, so I know its defenses inside and out. There are three primary orbital platforms that serve as staging areas for the Confederate fleet. If we assault the central platform, we should cause enough of a ruckus to allow a small force to break through the planetary defenses. General, I'm impressed. I never figured you for the frontal assault type. Well, the Confederates have Omega and Delta Squadron troops defending the platform. And they're nothing compared to my Alpha Squadron boys. <laughs> right. All right, short, sweet, and to the point. Oh, I need to make sure I have the audios to the right level. I might have messed this up for y'all. Sorry, I keep switching between which game I'm playing. Doing the randomizer and then doing this. And I need them at different levels. Not a bad little defense platform there. Voice is 100% nice. All right, so I know this mission like the back of my hand because if you missed it, a Back in June, I had a little collab, collab event with... I can't believe this. Half a squadron never would have left this equipment behind. That's what I call sloppy. I had a little collab with Artosis, and I taught him how to speed... I love that the nuke silo is off place. Even in the remake, it's off place. And I taught him how to speed run StarCraft 1. And this mission was the mission that we tried to get him the world record, and he came very close. He did very, very well. Unfortunately, he was not able to get it. I think he got within... Oh, hello. Within 11 seconds of the world record for this mission, but wasn't quite there. I was pretty darn impressed for someone's first ever attempt at speedrunning, though. And the reason I picked this mission for him is it is the most pure macro mission in this campaign. Is this nuke silent? Wait. Okay, this one's actually properly positioned. We're definitely going to nuke some things. Uh, but we're not nuking things to the level of misplacing our stuff. I love that they have these add-ons here, even if it just makes you get this really weird base. Input coordinates. And there's no add-on for the racks. Gotta get the macro going. We have ghosts now. What else do we have? We have vessels. We have tanks. So Ghost is really the only new unit here. And we're playing a game with TVT, so it is going to be big old siege pushes. Now, in the main game, the world record time for this is uh, like 10 minutes. 
We're going to take a little bit longer because the amount of stuff that they have on Mass Recall is going to be absurd. This is the big macro mission. I think I said that earlier, where you start out with two CCs, two bases, and the entire map is enemy. It actually feels a lot like Reckoning, for example, the final mission of Heart of the Swarm, where it's just get some bases, clear, get some bases, clear, get some bases, clear, but even more bases because in Reckoning you only get two extra bases. I really like it. I think it's one of the better StarCraft missions, and I am really looking forward to seeing the Mass Recall version. I say this as someone who has played the Mass Recall version, and I, I don't remember it. I don't remember any of these missions in Mass Recall, honestly. Because I haven't played this mod in a very, very long time. So I took that down because I want to put a calm sat down eventually. That'll give me both nukes and scans. Nukes in StarCraft 1 do 300 damage plus 200 versus structures or 66% of the life. Whichever is lower. No, higher? Uh, it always takes something at least down to one third HP is what I mean to say, I believe. I don't exactly... I can't think of the terminology right now because I am really bad at speaking and it's two in the morning again. So what are we going to do? What sort of composition do I want? I don't have a whole lot of options here. I'm a little bit concerned over my lack of Vespine. So I only have one geyser here, and that is going to really hamstring my production of anything valuable. I think I want factories to begin with. It's going to be another full mech day. We can go for bio when we play against the Zerg or against the Protoss. But when it's TVT, just the Marine does not cut it in this game. And it never, ever will. Not even against, uh, not even when we get medics when we're fighting against Terran. I also want to make sure that I have good missile turret coverage because getting backstabbed by the air units that I know are on this map could be devastating. Your forces are under attack. The air units that I know are on this map could be devastating. <laughs> well, raids aren't that strong, which is why I'm not like going for them or something. I think in StarCraft 1, you could very easily play this mission with Big Wraith energy. I don't really think so in StarCraft 2. Or Mass Recall. Just the... Our armory is 50 gas? Oh, that's nice. 100... Ooh, that's very affordable. That's really nice. We're going to go two turrets in each mineral line. I figure two is enough to deal with any number of raids. Then if there's like BCs or something, I guess I just die. You know, that's how it is. And I'm going to leave the NORAD 2 around. Look at him. He's got a little, <laughs> a little wig on his front. Fire the Yamato. Oh, this is bad. Luckily, the NORAD is incredible. So if any of you guys are avid followers of GSL, you might have noticed that uh, in the summer season, season two of GSL, Multiple times, Artosis brought up Edmund Duke. Are you kidding? Oh, this is so StarCraft 1. I can't believe that even in the remake. <laughs> okay, we'll take out the turret. Please. There we go. Now we can mine freely. He kept... Uh, oh, okay. This is actually a thing. So it came comes to my attention that I have been getting vehicle weapons and ship weapons. This is because in StarCraft 2, the way that it goes is this is vehicle weapons, this is vehicle armor. But it is vertical instead of horizontal here. I heard your feedback. You are correct. And I'm going to try to learn. I'm going to fail at learning. But feel free to continue to yell at me. But do it in a, like, concerned parent sort of way who wants the best for me, not in a grant is so stupid sort of way, okay? Because I need some negative feedback doesn't, I don't really like it. It makes me sad and then... Yeah, we, we're going to be positive here, but we're going to have a hearty laugh at my expense sort of thing. Oh gosh, mineral field depleted already. Did my ghosts die? They did, but I can really easily make ghosts again if I get a space academy. Because we have the nuke silos, we might as well use them. You know what I mean? It's eight supply to make a nuke, 200, 200. So it's pretty expensive, but the ghost itself is very cheap. Ghosts are really bad at fighting, but I figure I could use that and the comms. All right, 
Feed on. I wanted to put a commsat here. But then I built an engineering bay there. I still have things to learn in life, and I think you never stop learning. The better you get at something, the more you understand you have to learn. <laughs> Ghosts are 25 minerals and 75 gas, though. Very, very cheap in this game. Let's get the engineering bay a little bit over here. Academy's about to finish. Perfect timing for my calm sat. Lots of vultures coming out, because that's what I can afford. Yeah, that's good. I don't have rapid fire set up, but I assume that rapid fire mines would be incredibly powerful. What did that mine blow up on? Did it blow up on that little thing? Do you see that on the ground? One sec, I need to go. It's got like the Omega symbol and it's got a skull and crossbones. That's really cool. Is that empty? Uh, I know in StarCraft... Maybe they just have it so you can't see if there's someone in it in StarCraft 1. Because that's how it was in the game. Oh, I like that sound. I didn't build a nuclear launcher, though. So, Ghost Tech is on the Science Facility, which is the higher tech than... It's the Fusion Core, basically, but you can either make Ghosts or BCs with it, depending on which add-on you get. It's a very silly building. I don't think it's well-designed. Oh gosh, we're running out already. This is bad. Uh, just keep putting spider mines down, I guess. I have like 48 of them, and they're not really an aggressive unit. Now, how long is Cloak? Cloak is 69 seconds. Ugh. It's not that nice. We don't fight here. I hope you don't mind. I don't think this is going to be a good enough attack force on its own. Let's check what we got here. A lot of stuff. Hopefully not in range of the... Alright, so the nuke is going to be a little while out. I'm going to start transitioning into machine shops and get to two. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit shy on gas. Uh, I don't know why. I haven't, like, wasted any gas in any way. But busting this area is definitely going to need a good nuke. The range on nuke is actually fairly low in StarCraft 1. Uh, I've known this for a very long time. And you need to make sure that you are dropping them at exactly the right location. Otherwise, you're going to walk into detection and you're going to have a bad time. So, let's just wait for that to finish up. See if we can get 2-2. Two, two. Wow, we can go... Did we have available 2-2 two, two last time or did it jump from 1-1 one, one to 3-3? Three, three? That's something. Oh, this is too many vultures. All right, scans are 50 apiece. Nukes are almost ready. Yes, yeah, so we're going to blast here, then we're going to be able to dive in. All right, bring it on. There we go. Right, this is a good nuke spot. First try. Yes, sir. Affirmative. So what do we got going on? There's nothing else this guy really is good for yet. Go, 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 go. Get in there. That is so much. Oh my goodness. Let's see if we can get over here, take down this stuff. Uh, you guys, how about you go over here, the rest go here, and then we get big Goliath energy going on? If we can start taking out their production, that'd be good. I think that was an attack wave of raids, wasn't it? Yep, that was an attack wave at exactly the wrong time. Ugh. Painful. And now we lost everything because of that. Now they're rebuilding the tank. Are they going to start rebuilding the bunks? They are. Oh, man. That was so unlucky. 
And it was like right outside of the range of my scan. I didn't quite know that I was going to be attacked that way. And now I think I'm dead. The mineral fields are basically gone. I got some vultures over here, apparently. And now I'm building a bunch of goliaths to fight the guys that don't exist anymore. Take that down. See if we can bypass. Oh gosh, the tank fires forever away. Oh, I just want to take out production. I think this is a good spot. Yeah, this is pulling all the SCVs. Now the factory is... Dive. Oh, good positioning by those depots. It is exactly more than a Goliath shot distance away. Well, this was a fun one. I am so totally doomed. I might have to reset to right before this happened. Because every time I attack is exactly when they attack, and that's not good. That's not how you want to play your StarCraft. Let's uh, quit and rewind, because I actually feel fairly comfortable here. It's been 20 minutes in this mission? Ugh. So we're going to want to go... I guess we did do... We didn't even do that much. I... Mm, I could go a little bit farther back in the past to the first nuke. Er, to the time that I had a nuke available and just didn't use it. Uh, when was that? Was that this one? Or was it before? So nuke finishes, then we turbo speed, and resume from replay right here. If we can kill the factory, we can save the world. Let's get 2-2. Uh, and there won't be a giant death wave coming for me this time, which is the big little twist. Oh, we need cloak, of course. Big little twist. That's going to make things super exciting. <laughs> There's a little death wave coming for me instead. Luckily, Marines are very bad. Oh, nice job, Marines. I made fun of you, but you proved me AFK. Here, why don't you come this way? That didn't work. Can you... Please, <laughs> don't just camp me here. This is really awkward. I have places to go, people to nuke. I don't have a siege mode. There we go. That's how you be sieging. I might need a different strat here, though. Oh, I don't have scans now. Nothing is going right. I'm playing terribly. And it is one gas geyser's fault. I take no personal responsibility. Seems like a good one. Yeah. So if we can get just these couple siege tanks... Sieged. Which we can't. Oh gosh. Here, a couple mines here. Oh, the wraiths are here. They just showed up. Our best friends. Oh, this is a mess. I got Goliaths on the way, but it's gonna be a while. Even just these extra little tanks, though, really help out. Where's the factory? There's the factory. He's up and at him. Uh, we want that fighting here, and then put mines around that. First Goliath is out. And these guys to reinforce, and how many Goliaths does it take to kill some wraiths? Drop a couple mines over here. Don't quite have it yet. 
you need a plurality of Goliaths, but it looks like they've gotten distracted. And this force is doing all right. Now I can siege this up and we want to make sure that he is covered with mines because one tank is incredibly strong. Tanks, two shot tanks after all. There, the attack wave went through and now we can swing in this way and we have a push. We've done a cut in. And this base has gas. Two gas geysers is so much more than one in this game. Do I want to lift this? I might. There's a tank up there that needs to be dealt with. I can probably dive it, but I want the production to be done with first. This is attacking here. The bio that comes out will get cleaned up by the vultures. And then this area is doing great. Uh, we do want to target fire that. So one cool tip in StarCraft 2 actually is, let's say your stuff is just attacking randomly. If you go attack everyone here and then stop, they will continue to attack that target. And then if an enemy hostile comes into range, they will switch to the hostile. This is a really good way to safely target down buildings. I didn't know this for a very long time. It's really, really helpful. Oh. That looks like it did not work. Oh, we got so close. Ooh, this area got cleaned up actually by something. Oh, double tank action. This is a big attack wave. Here, drop some mines and drop some mines. Any sacrifice to kill siege tanks. Worth it. You know what? We could send Edmund Duck over here. Main character of StarCraft Bird War. There's a lot of minerals here, but I'm just having a hard time getting the final bro, the final bro, <laughs> the final blow, the coup de bro, the coup de bra, <laughs> bra. Oh my gosh. Is it 2am or am I actually funny? Don't answer that. So yeah, we're going to target that. And finish everything else off. <laughs> Coup de bra. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do the stop cancel thing. That means if an SCV pops out of there, it is going to die. Sick drop, yo. Incredible. By the way, <laughs> Marines really suck. Oh, what a unit. How much money do we have here? Not very much. This is definitely safe to move, as long as we remember to get a new commsat. What are you now we're going to have to build up again. What was that? Oh, maybe we intercepted a drop right there. We're going to have to build up again, but it's not going to take as long, because our units are better with the 2-2 that we have. And we're going to have gas. All this kind of stuff is very exciting to me. And at that point, we'll just be able to go crazy. Also, look at the mineral fields here. There's like a bunch of them. This has 4,000 gas left, so we're not going to be able to abandon it for quite some time. We're going to spider mine this area up. Just make sure the entire area is defended. And then to the left is where we will go to stop the enemy from building out of their starports and stuff on that side. Get you guys here. A lot of SCVs, rally them over there, and hopefully this is fine. How the heck? Oh, it's a Wraith, okay. <laughs> it's like I put Infinity Mines and then some guy just manages to weave his way through. Set the rally here. I do have 3 3 going, right? Yeah, attack and armor, perfect. And then we're going to try to get another base, because it's all about that constant economic production. This is one of, I believe, two big bases on the map. There is an outpost here, an outpost here, an outpost here, and then a big orange base that is absolutely horrifying. It makes this base look like a joke. They seem to rally their raids here. So I'm going to just build a missile turret and hope that helps. Yeah, there's gas over here. Perfect. So that's our next target. Yes, 
And that'll be where this base can head to. Ooh, battle cruisers. Hello. So Duke's gonna swing in, he's gonna Yamato the BC, and then we are going to swoop in with our Goliath force and try to soak the shots. And then Duke has to be on static defense again. We're going to get a couple turrets to defend here, and then we're going to use Duke as another defense. Ah. That's pretty scary. Actually, that could be really duked. So this is fine. This is fine. Your forces are under attack. I just want these tanks dead because they will mess up my life later. The marines shooting don't really matter. Remember that I can't lose Duke. Wait, what? I'm very confused. Machine shop, machine shop, tech reactor, I think. <laughs> that must be a bug. Oh gosh, I didn't see Duke for a second and I freaked out. My, my heart sank. I was about ready to mourn him. It's very easy to lose your Duke. Mineral income is actually taking quite a big hit right now. Which is why we got to get up here. Because this is a good base. It's like the dream base. Like, if you were a kid and you were designing the super base for yourself, that would be it. The bridge is over here, so we're going to minefield it up. I really like spider mines from a strategic perspective. I love the being able to invest a limited resource into keeping yourself safe as you move from one direction, there's a whole lot of strategy behind when and where a spider mine is correct. And I love that. If Protoss weren't so cool, I would totally be a Terran player in StarCraft 1. Because from a gameplay perspective, this really suits me. It's just, come on, who wants to play the people in a sci-fi game? That's so boring. No offense to all you Terran players, but it is boring. It's like how British people eat beans on toast. Like, come on. You forgot the flavor, dude. Well, ready to roll out. Only one gas guys are here. That's all right. Uh, do I want to build another gas? Yeah, I think I'm just going to build a CC over here. Because it's fast. Or it's uh, more gas efficient. Oh, that doesn't reach. Oh, nice siege, bro. <laughs> Your forces are under attack. Don't burn me. Yes, orders, sir. I haven't got all that. Hmm. So, as you can see, there's a Base lot of tanks and stuff in this area. Also, whatever this Goliath is. Right away, sir. Let's safely build this over here and then float it in. <laughs> Figure everything else out later. I think that... What are they doing? They're trying to wall off my... No, I need that gas, guys. You can't wall it off with depots, dude. <laughs> That's not a strategy. Why would you try this? Okay, we checked up there. There's nothing. We'll check over here with a vulture while the rest of my forces move forward. And secure what I believe is the only choke point, but I could absolutely be incorrect. Could you... SCVs are in butt, they're just going to shank this guy. Don't know why it keeps working, but it does, and I won't complain. I should really siege up these tanks. There, now we're immortal. Oh, that's kind of an interesting discussion topic. What do you guys think about units like the Vulture, where... It's like the unit itself doesn't really have that much value, and it's all about the spider mine, if that makes sense. The carrier is kind of like that, but a little bit different. In that, like, I don't know, the vulture, like, it's cool, but man, is it almost never good. Oh, jeez. It's just, you buy spider mines at discount prices. I think it's very interesting. Because you don't really understand that until you get to a certain point. I don't know if it was intended, right? I don't, 
was the vulture like power budgeted in order to be a good unit and then it just turned out that the mines were the best part or did they know from the beginning and is that good design or not i kind of like it but it's not something i would use all the time i can't think of many other great examples of it but i'm sure they exist if you guys could think of some, that'd be really cool. Especially if they're from other RTS, because I love hearing about the ways that other RTS that I've never played do stuff. Even in bad RTS, there are so many interesting and cool ideas. And often it's like, well, these ideas were good, and the reason the game failed had nothing to do with that. It was like, oh, there's a rush production schedule, and they never marketed it. That sort of thing. I'm going to wait till Max before I move out, by the way. I don't feel comfortable being here. But I do want to move in before they manage to get another battlecruiser fleet. Let's get another comps out. And while we're at it, we have so much gas. We might as well get another ghost and another nuke. That could help us bust some stuff later. Though remember that nukes cost 8 supplies, so that does reduce my final army size. I like what they did with nukes in StarCraft 1, or StarCraft 2. They made them much more viable. Nukes were bad. Though, they did have their times. Like, I didn't play much StarCraft 1 online, but I do have one memory of playing on Big Game Hunters. I think it was, like, one of the only times I'd ever played. And because it's an eight-player chaotic free-for-all, someone dropped a ghost on me and nuked me, and you just, it's just, like, so hard to figure out who it's for, where it's for, or what's happening in the chaotic thing. And he killed like a hundred workers. <laughs> it wasn't quite a hundred, but it felt like it. I basically lost everything in one nuke, and I, I didn't play online anymore because I was young, and that was a very scarring moment to the point that I remember it to this day. All right, let's go murder some people so I can repress my bad memories. Don't take that quote out of context or at court. Uh, where is Senator Spooky? Here he is. Oh, gosh. Lower the depot in the old-fashioned way. <laughs> so what do we got over here? Definitely a lot of siege stuff. By the way, some people did mention they thought it was weird that the skins are different for the different factions. This is an intentional choice by the fact that I have no Goliaths left. Oh, gosh. Uh, by the mod makers, there is options in the menu to have faction-specific right, unit designs. So the Confederates have the traditional siege tanks, and then we have the more StarCraft II level skins, because this is what the Skons of Korhal were using, and eventually turned into the mainstream siege tank after they took over. I think it's a cool idea. I don't know if they do it completely lore perfectly, we'd have to ask, like, Subsorian, but... I do think it's neat. Okay, here's the Goliath force coming to reinforce. Oh, we don't have scans for... Oh gosh, I have to... I think. There we go, we've dealt with it. Oh, I missed the nuke, I'm so sorry. I wanted to get it, but then it took so long to land. I guess I can just launch another one. We can get this up and running. Siege up. There we go. Now we can scan, finish off the raids. You can really see how the slow pushing in StarCraft 1 in TVT is not... It's somewhat a product of the way the game works, but it's also part of a product of just how the units work. I'm verily... I'm more... Verily... <laughs> verily... Young maiden, uh, I am very. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what came over me. I became a knight. Uh, it's just, yeah, I'm. It becomes very natural that you set up these siege lines in good positions, and then you force them to come to you with the mech position. It's like aggressive defense. I really like it, and I wish that there was a style that played like this in StarCraft Two. A lot of the defensive styles in StarCraft Two either become hyper turtle or they're I don't know it just it doesn't seem to work in StarCraft 2 esports but it does work really well in StarCraft 1 and I don't exactly know why 
Because stuff like swarm hosts, I guess because it often involves free units when it's done in StarCraft, like... Or close to free. The swarm host or the infester broodlord. Those sort of things were the closest we ever got to it. Here, you can shoot that. And we can push this way and we can end this mission. What a slog. I don't know, this is just a solid mission where there's just a lot of stuff and a lot of flexibility on how you want to approach it. For a game that didn't have super complicated objectives, they're mostly just kill everything or clear the map or get to X point. I think that this is a good one. And you don't really see this level of good mission design. Well, you see it a couple times in like the Zerg campaign, but mostly it's towards the end of Brood War that they truly get these big macro things going. And then they start to dwarf even this. So I believe this is the final mission or final building we need to kill. Theoretically, it would burn down on its own, but we might as well expedite the process. Is that it? Is this it? Is there a random missile turret somewhere? <sighs> yep, we gotta kill everything. At least we got some tank rallies over here. We didn't take the engagement so well that we didn't lose everything, so we spend two minutes getting across. Here we go. Let's siege you up. Uh, no energy. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. Pop, pop. General Duck, have you done it? What's quacking? Oh, gosh. Uh, so this mission's great. <laughs> it's my favorite. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a little dumb at the end. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Playing turret whack-a-mole is not necessarily the best game, though. So we're going to move the vultures to the end. Man, that's a lot of turrets. Delta Squadron was ready. One more. Please. Oh, one more. There we go. <laughs> hmm. are secured and online. Who authorized the use of psi emitters? I did, Lieutenant. What? The Confederates on Antigua were bad enough, but now you're going to use the Zerg against an entire planet? This is insane. She's right, man. Think this through. I have thought it through. voice line was very quiet. Oh! Is that two audio tracks playing at once? Perfect. Well, that is a great time to end it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a good time. Sorry this video was so long. Uh, it was just a big mission, and, you know, I, I kind of messed up that first time. What are you gonna do? This actually is a pretty hard campaign, so a little bit of a setback every once in a while, I'm a big fan of. This music is obnoxious, so I'm gonna end right here. I will see you tomorrow, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace.